Hey jammers, hey jam movers. Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed right now. And look what I got. I have reached 1,000 subscribers in my YouTube channel, Jamoves John So you got one. You got another. That's one. <laughs> you got another zero. I got another zero. I got another zero. You have heard it right. So we have reached 1,000 subscribers already for the Jamoves John Suriano YouTube channel that I have created six months ago. It, you know, it has been active during that time, but there were there was a point that I have to take it slow because I have this um, health concerns for two months. So it's like for four months we have reached this far, Randy, and I've never thought that I'm gonna reach the, those uh, number. So. I just really want to say thank you guys for the trust that you have given me. So for those that have convinced me to, to create a channel, actually my friends three years ago have been convincing me to uh, really put a YouTube channel with all the travels that I'm doing, with all the things, the spontaneity that I'm saying. So, but right now I just decided this year to have it. And I hope you, you like it. You have been informed for everything. So I just really want to say thank you to, to my friends that convinced me. And then to my family, to my friends, co-workers, uh, who have been very supportive friends here and abroad uh, so thank you so much as well as to my students you're the best guys I don't want to ruin your trust so we'll keep on doing what we're doing you know being informative being fun and at the same time you know telling you some a lot of travels it uh, just random things that would really have uh, best interest to your viewing and let's cut straight to the chase that since we have reached 1,000 subscribers, okay, let me just wear my the flash hat. By the way, I am a huge, huge fan of Barry Allen. So because Barry Allen is the fastest man alive, right, in the Flash. So I got the Flash theme in my room. <laughs> well, so as I was saying, let's cut straight to the chase. Since I've reached 1,000 subscribers, so guys like my freebies since it's the Christmas season. I'm gonna give some freebies for those that will have the first comment to this vlog. I'm gonna give some prizes. Yes, prizes. It could be like a merchandise or let's say like a, a cash prize. So we'll have like the first one to comment, the 10th person to or subscriber to comment. Yeah, uh, for the prizes, we'll start with, let's say, you know, the first person will get 500 the tenth person will receive 1,000 all right I promise you that so thank you so much guys and oh you know it was just like my wish list um, to be having like 1,000 subscribers and now it's happening so we'll just keep doing what we're doing and one of my wish list is to reach that far and have the flash blanket and I got the one let me show you here ah, oh my god it keeps me warm. It keeps me warm if it's really cold since it's already December and it's the winter season. All right, so thank you for, you know, for a very good friend that gave me this. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> so since we're, you know, 2020 has been like a roller coaster ride full of ups and downs for everybody. So yeah, let me offer this Christian song that I've been listening. Uh, to keep me calm with all the problems. I don't want to elaborate on that one. But yeah, 2020 has been bad, but let's be calm and at the same time be still. So my roommate will be helping me out with that one. Well, Jammers, I know that you will agree with me that 2020 is considered to be the worst year of all time, or if not the worst year, it's one of the most challenging years you know, in our history. At the start of the year, we have the pandemic, and until now, it's still there. Um, yeah, we struggled. We had a lot of anxiety. Some of us have, you know, experienced depression. I'm not an excuse to that. I have experienced, you know, a little bit of anxiety at the first start of the year. And recently, I have some health issues. But you know what? Despite those problems and challenges, one thing that I am thankful with 2020 is it helped me realize, it helped me find that peace of mind. And, you know, that acceptance with that peace on my soul. Um, you always see me being, like, funny guy, happy, outgoing. So, I want to show you in our, you know, as we receive that 1,000 subscribers, that I have the serious side of me. And I think... 
think this one is very fitting with our, you know, as we start with our 1,000 um, subscribers vlog. It, we're going to dedicate the song to you. It's entitled Still. And I think that's very fitting for this year that we have to be calm, we have to be still. All right, Ren? Let's start. translation ng Tagalog ng kantang to. So, ito. Mananatili ang titulo. That's the song, we have to be still, mananatili po tayo. And advance, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year na lang sa lahat. And maraming salamat, Rene, at saka kay Sir Montero sa, you know, support ha. Alright, bye guys! So, sana nagustuhan nyo yun.
isang iglap Ang hangit tinatakpan Mahigpit na siya ka Kanang pagkawalan Marami ang nagbago Ngunit hindi ang pagmamahal mo Ngayong Pasko Magdiriwang ang mundo Sa pag-ibig mo'y may himala May panibagong simula Ngayong Pasko Babalik ang saya Dahil ikaw ang liwana At liga Kami ay may lakas na harapin ang bukas Ikaw ang gabay sa bawat landas Gawin kaming liwana para sa isa't isa Ngayong Pasko Magdaliwang ang mundo Sa pag-ibig mo'y may mula May panibagong simula Ngayong Pasko Pag-alik na masaya Dahil ikaw ang liwana At higaya Ikaw lang, ikaw lang ikaw ang liwanag ang ligaya Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya Sa mahabang gabi, tumigil ang mundo Sa pag-asang dala mo, tuloy ang Pasko Liwanag ligaya, right joy, claridad, alegria, kasan at kasadya Lam na kalipay, sarayang kalipay, kaya kalipay, lang na kagsak Wawalikit si Kahit Bini Liwanag ka o mahan Sunod ang tumula Kibuti ko bi Ilumina Joya Yung Wang Shiwei Lumia Joya Di Jojo At Wapara O Rochelle Sa Alegria Liwanag at Ligaya Nagmumula sa'yo Ikakalat sa mundo Ngayong Pasko Magdiriwang ang mundo sa pag-ibig mo'y may himala May panibagong simula Ngayong Pasko Babalik ang saya Dahil ikaw ang liwanan At ligaya Ngayong Pasko Diliwan ang mundo Sa pag-ibig mo'y may himala May panibagong simula Ngayong Pasko Ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Ikaw ang liwanag at ligaya Hey Jammers, welcome to my YouTube channel It's and moves. It's 4 a.m. in the morning, and then we decided to go with Adri Grace to send her on going to the airport. So I'm going to LA to Los Angeles, and it's gonna be my first time to be driving over there. And they say it's crazy traffic, so uh, we hope and pray that everything's gonna be safe. So I'm gonna be traveling with Mr. Madayag and Mr. Monteras. So see you around and let's enjoy California. Hey Jammer, so we're on our way going to San Diego. And where are we at? We're at downtown Tucson. Yeah, it's right here. 
in Tucson right now. It's one of the major cities in Arizona. In front of us is Mr. Doctor. That's the other day. I'm just trying to follow him. So it's exactly what time is it? Um, I don't know, it's 54. That's downtown Tucson. Yes, we're in downtown Tucson. And then we have five or almost six hours more of our travel. chasing him because we don't want to be left behind or else for someone uh, over the kind of shop in the what do you want? Ay, I can't see him! I'm going to put my face on him. I can see him in the face. Let's see. Ow, ow, ow. Did you have a little fire in wood? Music video of the Shepard Terrace. If you try to notice, we're trying to refuel right now. Uh, we're trying to have it full tank. Because in California, like I've said, it's really expensive compared. It's more expensive compared to here. So, if you try to notice the price, so you got the 89 minimum octane rating. That's 2.54. And then we'll have it full tank. So, we're probably we're going to spend it $40. So, if you see, there's a lot of cars. Because this is our entry point going to California in San Diego, right there. Look, hey jammer, so we're entering now the city of San Diego. And uh, the good thing about this is it's along the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Okay, so as I was saying, you know, San Diego is a city here in California. It's in the coast of the Pacific, west coast of the Pacific. Now, aside from you know the naval bases that it's known for, you can see right there the buildings that it has, the tall buildings. It's in the center of the city. So we're now on the downtown of it. Well, so we're taking the exit because we're going to the USS Midway at the Naval Pier. Hey Jammers, welcome back. Like what I've said, if there's one important thing that you have to visit here in the Navy Pier, it has to be this site because it's what you call the USS Midway. Um, it's one of the most important, you know, part of the history of US Navy because it's uh, the aircraft carrier of the US Army and the US Navy during the World War II or you know for decades ago and then uh, I think inside it there's a museum uh, there are actually war planes look at those choppers and helicopters so it's really part of their history now I'm enjoying my stay right here so I'm going to give you like a 360 part of that all right so you can have receive the parking space you can actually have you can pay for I think $8.50 for 30 minutes. No, we're heading to the iconic iconic statue. It's right here, so you can see a lot of... There's vendors, there are tourists. A lot of us are wearing masks in this time of COVID, so it's right there. <laughs> okay, can you do that pose for me right now? Come on! So that's Addy Grace and Pierre Dave. So, you do that all the time? Show me then, show me! <laughs> Alright, uh huh, thank you! This is one of the iconic statues that they have here in San Diego. Okay, look, look at this. This is one of the iconic uh, statues and poses that you would see here in uh, San Diego. So it's a sailor kissing his probably girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know, but it's like that. So let's see the background of this. Let's read it. So what does this statue mean? 
Now it says right there, uh, it's entitled Embracing Peace by Suwar Johnson. It says, this sculpture depicts the most famous and iconic moments in the history of the United States, reflecting the joy of American people upon learning World War II had ended. Oh, that's, that's why. So the USS Midway Museum thanks, yeah, those people behind it. Alright, cool. So basically that's the meaning of that. So I thought it's just like more of uh, something that's uh, about love, but it's more than that. Alright, actually during the trip I was with Korea Romel, Korea Dave, and Sarah Montera. So it was like more of a fun guys trip and together with the, you know Koya so Dave's family. What I'm telling to you jammers we stopped by here in San Diego and the cost of there you know uh, fuel is really expensive very pricey compared to Arizona. But anyway so we're heading to LA right now. See you later. We got fast cars but at the same time it's very traffic jam. You see that on my left? Downtown LA, and it, the traffic is crazy. We go to Staples Center. We're going to Staples Center right now. So I'm with Mr. Madayag and Mr. Monteras. Hey, Jammer, so we're here at the very famous Staples Center. Staples Center. It's the home of the Lakers. Right there. So who are these? <coughs> Your favorite icons? Uh huh. That's Kareem. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Magic. Magic Johnson. Oscar De La Hoya. Oh, yeah. Wow. And the other one, I don't know him. <laughs> yeah, so we're actually right here. And then um, in front, actually, it's Staples Center. And then we have here in front of this, you know, we have the plaza, some LED lights. Microsoft, it's right there. Nike. Okay, we'll take some pictures, guys. Hey jammers, we're heading towards the urban lights of Los Angeles and it's gonna be over there. My friends and I are going to the urban lights right now. So it's right over there. Look at that. So this is our iconic urban lights of Los Angeles. Hey Jammer, so we're now in the very iconic urban lights of LA. Um, as what I've known, it's more than 200 street lights of different models that are used all over California. So, you know, it's of different designs, of different, you know, lights. So, if you can see, there's a lot of, there are a lot of tourists right here. Well, so that's it. Uh, that's the end of our first day here in California. So, tomorrow we're going to Hollywood. Uh, sign and at the same time with the Hollywood Walk of Fame and probably we can go to Santa Monica Pier all right the end of the Route 66 let's go bye Hello. so good I'm morning good morning so we're going to have our breakfast here and oh parang sa kidapaw do sa kidapawan lang sa dated sa bakulod oh inday jalebi jalebi ay 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 So uh, we actually live in a hotel here in Carson. So it's you know close to Jollibee, and uh, it's where you know the Rosintos live. Not in Jollibee, but <laughs> near the Jollibee. So we're gonna get our breakfast for like to go and take out. All right. Oh yeah. No. Oh. Okay. 
Age Rammers. I'm so happy right now. I got my order. It's Jolly Spaghetti with, you know, one piece chicken. I missed it. And, you know, uh, we, I got pineapple juice back home, but... Yeah, yeah. oh wow, they got a lot! <laughs> Is that a barangay? Ano, kami lang, apat. <laughs> breakfast lunch na. Oh, breakfast lunch. Uh, that's, you know, very wise. Kasi mamaya, we're going to, you know, visit some places. So, it's good to have, you have something for reserve. Para hindi magutuman. Para hindi magutom. Oo. Oh, oh. <laughs> Bawal magutom. Hey, Jammers! Welcome to the day two of our tour here in Los Angeles. And what a way to start the day by going to this very famous landmark and attraction in the uphill of Mount Hollywood. So that's what you call the Griffith Observatory. So you got Mr. Madayag over there and Mr. Monteras. So we're going to that. Although it's closed today, Griffith Observatory is known for its science and you know space related attractions or displays. So we can't get inside, but at least we, you know, we get to see that uh, very particular location. No, jammers, we're getting close to the Griffith Observatory, and as we all know, it's really known for its space and science-related displays. Uh, but right now, it's closed, so we can't get inside. Now, if you remember a particular scene in Charles Angels with Demi Moore, so it's right here on this particular uh, landmark. You know, when you go up here, there are a lot of tourists uh, and that's what you call the Hollywood sign. So this Griffith Observatory is its a beautiful spot for you to see Mount Hollywood, right? Okay, it's called Mount Hollywood because from here you can actually see that Hollywood sign the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. After here we're going to Hollywood Walk of Fame and then we're gonna get we're gonna see the Hollywood star sign and then the last stop that we have for today would be Santa Monica up here. Oh you know what the very good thing about this Griffith Observatory it has been you know a good site for most of uh, notable films. So I have mentioned earlier about Charles Angels and right now uh, we got here James Dean where he filmed his very classic motion picture Rebel Without a Cause and you know it represented the Hollywood film uh, all over the world with its contribution to you know Observatory's international reputation all right so when you talk about Hollywood sign then it can be best related to Griffith Observatory and aside from that, look here, that's downtown LA, meaning we are in a higher elevation right now. And right here you can see of the downtown LA. So when you try to go from here, let's go see at the back part of this. Earlier, I was kind of hesitant or probably like worried that we cannot see the Hollywood sign because they say if it's very foggy over here then you can't see the views clearly I like the view <laughs> so from here it's oh okay good I'm Filipino like guy looks yeah and so are you oh it's kind of foggy so but if you try to look at it it's right here downtown look so that's where we stay and then that's where we're going later right there hey jammer so we're now in Hollywood Boulevard now good thing there's uh, not a lot of people right here we came earlier, so there's not much a lot of people or tourists, especially with the time of pandemic. So it's good that we can't, you know, be dealing with much of um, people. All right, just to be safe, you have to wear a mask. Mm -hmm. So this is what you see when you go here. We got 
uh, different names of Hollywood stores. Uh, hey Jammer, so I'm walking in Hollywood Boulevard right now. Ate Grace gave me this Starbucks uh, dragon fruit, you know, tea, and it's nice. So this is what you see in the Hollywood Boulevard. Oh, you can see Keanu Reeves. Oh, you got Britney Spears. Antonio Banderas. Uh, who else do I know? <laughs> we got Destiny's Child. Ryan C. Chris. Oh, and here we go. So this is a very iconic and very famous Chinese theater, TCL Chinese theater. Um, it's very known because of you know the very first Hollywood films like Star Wars premiered on this theater. So look at that. Here, you see that's very famous. That's why a lot of tourists take their shots right here and then you can see Mickey Mouse uh, the very first few ones another spot that you have to visit here when you go to you know Hollywood Boulevard aside from the stars from the Hollywood Walk of Fame you gotta visit this place it's what you call the Dolby Theater so it's a Dolby Theater it's where the place for you know the Oscar Awards is being held annually so guys we're entering the entrance of the Dolby Theater. Mm -hmm. It's still part of the Hollywood Boulevard. It's where like Jimmy Kimmel Live is doing his show. This is in front of the Dolby Theater. Now for those who want to have their pasalubong, you can go to there, you know, there are a lot of gift shops right here. Shirts that are worth three for nine nine. Right now, Jamrys, we're getting inside the Santa Monica Pier. Um, yeah, this is what you see. I'm sorry. So, that's the highway. There's a lot of traffic. And then you get to see a lot of visitors. Social distancing. Some of them, you know, wear masks. Some of them don't, so. So, this is where we are heading right now. That's at the Santa Monica entrance. So this is the entrance. This is where we're going to pass. Hi, hello. Hello. So this is the entrance of the Santa Monica Pier. Okay. So we're heading to the Route 66 signage, and then we're gonna be, you know walking down the beach line or the seashore and then the water that you see over there would be coming from the Pacific Ocean all right so this is what you see inside the Santa Monica Pier and then we're going towards that direction where you can see the signage for you know the end of route 66 I'll take a picture of that later it's inside the Santa Monica Pier I'll just have to take a picture on that, and that sign. Hey Jammers, just to give you an idea how, you know, this Route 66 or Route 66 or whatever you call it, um, it travels from, look, from the east, from Michigan, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, in Arizona, and that's the end. So this is where we are at right now. 
And you'll get that. Amazing, right? This Santa Monica Pier became one of the settings of, if I'm not mistaken, one of my favorite films, Forrest Gump. So, what you can see inside here are actually, you know, most of the stores are still closed, but, you know, you can't get inside the Santa Monica Pier if you don't wear a mask. I mean, in fairness to them, they allow people to get out, but, you know, they take precautions by wearing masks. I, you know, I appreciate that kind of rule that they have. So from here, you can see the coastline of the Santa Monica Pier. So a lot of people are, you know, having fun. And then what a nice way to dip in, you know, sea water. And that's actually sea, or that's actually water coming from the Pacific Ocean. So let's just come over right here. And that's what you're gonna see. Mm -hmm. Um, without the pandemic, this place is really fun for, you know, rides. There's Ferris wheel that you can see. Oh, uh, you can take a sip of coffee while you're enjoying, let's say, the view right here. Look, I'll uh, show you a... There you go. So when you get closer to the ocean, it's right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish Philippines is just like, you know, right across that ocean. Well, jammers, so that's the end of our trip for today. Uh, we conclude our, you know, travel vlog today here in Santa Monica Pier. Earlier, we went to, you know, Hollywood Sign, Hollywood Walk of Fame, and just right now, we, you know, we're here in, how to say this one? Oh! <laughs> I thought it's... Oh, come on. Okay, so here's my good friend, Miramel, say goodbye to our vlog. All right, thanks for touring us today. <laughs> I thought you're a tourist. So that's Miramel. And from here, all right, and all of those people over there, and right across that ocean, Philippines, we say, I love you, and I hope you enjoy my travel vlog. And, oh, look. Look that. There's a trap here. Alright, bye! Hey Jammer, so we're heading back home to Douglas and before we go home, we're, that's why if you notice I got this Fedora hat and you know, we're going to the beach in Long Beach and then yeah, we'll drive all the way down back to Douglas. So basically Jammers, that's the end of our you know, California trip. So we're here now in Long Beach. You know, fresh air, seashore, into the coastline. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's been a good trip. It's been a good experience to, you know, the hustle and bustle of the city life in Los Angeles. And yeah, so we thank you for that. Well, Jammers, I got this taho from Chow King. Yeah, we'll eat this one and that's gonna be the end of our California trip. So thank you and keep on subscribing to my channel in Jamus and here's for you guys. Mmm, yummy. <laughs>now, Jammers, let us know what the people of Douglas have to say about wearing the face mask. The simple way of wearing the face mask would help in the prevention of, you know, the spread of the coronavirus. Or some of them might be believing that wearing this would be effective, or some of them would think that it's not. So, let's, let's know. Hey, Jammers. Happy Sunday. So, we're going to the church right now. Um, 
you know, it's the new normal of the church service as well. Now let's see what's gonna happen inside it. And then let's see how people react to that. And you know, what are the intervention of the church? So this is how it goes, this is a new normal when you go to the church. So before you have to go to the St. Luke's Cathedral over there. But now uh, you have to go to the chapel right here. So we just came from the church. So that's, that's, how, that's how it goes. It's the social distancing. <laughs> it is of no doubt, Jammers, that a lot of people have been doing a lot of interventions. Now one way to do that is at the same time preventing yourself from spreading and at the same time probably getting the virus is that when you make your mask now we, we know it for a fact that there have been a lot of surgical masks that are being sold in the stores right now but you know what filipinos are really how to say this one resourceful and at the same time very creative in doing that so this one is made by other grace and then she gave that this one to me now let's see how it goes Probably this vlog will help you out. For example, if you want to make your own, uh, you know, mask, and they have been very successful to do that. So that's what we have to do right now. That's what we have. We are going to find out, and then I'll be going to their house so that we can see what they're doing, how she's doing that one. All right, let's go. Hey, Jammer. So I'm here in front of the doctor's house, which I mean, like what I promised to you, we're going to, you know, uh, cover something on how to make the face mask so let's get inside and then i'm going to you know give you some ideas on how to make a very creative and very presentable face mask let's go so like what i've said since you know the doctors are also elongo so we're going to use elongo accent right now uh, we'll be speaking english but at the same time it's gonna be in elongo so i'm gonna knock on the door right now oh there you go let's get inside hey indai so i'm inside now of the doctor's house we got indai and then we got the smaller indai yeah nana Ayo, how are you? To, how are you to find out? <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? So we're going to have a breakfast right now, and then here's the you know man of the house, the master cutter. <laughs> the what? <laughs> master cutter. Yeah. So yeah. So hey, drummers, we're inside the house of the doctors, and Ate Grace will be you know demonstrating to us how she does all of these masks. And then uh, later this afternoon, they're going to deliver in service the cells for the mask that they have made. So I think they're doing seven of uh, face masks today. All right, let's go. Hey, Jammers, how are you to find out? So we're here at the doctor's house. I'm speaking English, but at the same time, uh, with a Longo accent. So we got. So the one that will be doing face masks is this person. It's Ate Grace. So she's going to. <laughs> You know, demonstrate to us yes, how, yes. how to do it. So, so how do we start? <laughs> First, uh, we have to cut like a six uh, by six and a half uh, inches cloth. Mm -hmm. So like the printed one, you have this. Since I'm a math teacher, I like numbers. Whoa. Okay. And then we have to prepare also a plain cloth mm -hmm. of the same size. And then okay. what, what about the pattern? Uh, we have different patterns here. This one is for of course, big face, mm. but for you, <laughs> this is your uh, pattern. Okay. okay, we have four kids mm. and like pretty <laughs> faces. We have this. So These we, are we just like self-made patterns. All right. uh, next. So what do we do next okay. after we have made the patterns? Okay, so first, so we have you have to choose what what size will you like. Mm. So for jam. This so you're doing size. this for me? Yeah, this is yours. Okay. okay. Thank you. So first you have to trace it. Come over here, mister. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to trace it like this one. And we do the same thing also on the other pattern. Okay? Nice. Next. Come here. Okay, let's go. Come here, come here. 
So they, they bought their own sewing machine. Yeah, I bought it. Actually, my aunt bought it for me. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> All right, yeah. You know, what's what's good about their mask is that they they put their you know f filter. So. Ten micron filter. Ten micron filter. Come over here, mister. Okay. You have to trace this part. So sew this part first, like mm -hmm. this. You know how to sew, mister? No. no. That side first. Mm -hmm. Same thing on the other one. You're good at this, huh? No, not you, really. You just, you just learn it? Yeah, I just learned it here <laughs> for a while. At, at first, it's just like you're, you know, yeah, for the family, learn. right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> but you know what? Eventually, guys, they are selling masks, right? Uh -huh. Service the sales. Service the sales. Yeah. So what's your role, Mr. Doctor? We are in the marketing department. <laughs> <laughs> so you are from the marketing department? Yeah, we are in the delivery. Yeah, we are in the delivery. Yeah. Can I be in the advertising? Sure. Yeah, for sure. Proceed, go back. Oh, they, they're so fast. Yeah. Proceed to the finished part. Wow. Oh, not yet. Now we have to cut. Interesting. Like that. The cutting okay. is based on the pattern, right? Yeah. So you just have to leave uh, a little space for the seams. Mm. So you see, jammers, that uh, Filipinos are really resourceful. Yeah. <laughs> and talented. And talented and skillful. This is an instant uh, skill. skill. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you never know, right? So later this afternoon, we will go to Servista and then yeah, deliver to the buyers. Okay, then from there you cut uh, this part, just uh, wow. small cut, so it won't be hard for you to fold later inside. And you have to fold it um, wow. on the right side. It's like magic. Yeah. Look. And put them all together. And then pin. Why does it look so like easy when you do it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm on my master's degree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's, let's stop with the... It's, it's a good thing. It's just know, a good thing. Marketing department. Uh, the marketing department. Uh, Mr. Docto. Mr. How's, Docto. So how's the orders right now? Oh, that. Uh, I'm gonna show you the order from from marketplace. Yeah. Just look at this. These are the orders of the people who like. Wow. So let's see this afternoon how we're going to sell that one. Yeah. Okay. After that, okay, we have to sew again. I'm pretty sure, you know, Douglas High School teachers will be ordering next time for me. You know, because the ones that you buy online are like very yeah. generic. There you have it. And then from there, let's go to ironing. Okay. This is the last part, right? Not yet. Mr. Ah, no, no. <laughs> what about the filter? Uh, uh, later. We'll put yeah. the filter later. Oh, so ah, filter before will be put putting the, the, the filter, yeah. it's ironing first. Yes. Okay. We have to iron first to make it neat. And it's easier to sew again. Okay. Usually, he do does do the ironing. Yeah. Um, Mr. Walker, Miss Dota will long, longer be teaching in this <laughs> no. opening. No. Wow. That's fast. This is just uh, my extra job, Mr. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> or if you want, Mr. Walker, she'll be teaching CTE for sewing. <laughs> for sewing. Mask only. Okay. After sewing, we go back. I mean, after ironing, we go back to sewing. Mm -hmm. You sew the edge, okay? So somehow like uh, one eighth inch. <laughs> then from there, we put the filter. So we have different sizes of filter. So they got oh, different filters is, uh, with different sizes. Based on the pattern. This one is a big one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is the filter. This is a 10 micron filter. We put it inside the mask. Okay. okay. That makes it different to other, you know, online um, masks yeah. that they sell <laughs> because we got filter. And then this is washable. So the filter is inside. We just have to... Did you ask permission from DTI? <laughs> 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 
I might be <laughs> This This is no for me. <laughs> okay. So make sure it's balanced, both sides. So this, uh, this is the side of the filter and this one. Okay. Wow. Then from there, okay. Okay, go back. Let's go, let's go. Then you sew it again? Yes. I have to sew the ah, filter okay, so, so it won't filter. move when yeah, you wash it. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm sewing it on both sides. Now what about the how do you that one? The cord? The cord, yeah. The cord is still based on how big is your face. <laughs> so for you <laughs> I think like a six inches will do or five and a half. Uh -huh. My my sew, sewing machine is kind of arty arty him, so I have to to sew to sew this again. There, see? You're... Master's degree, yes, right? Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> That's fast. You know how to to sew this? I know. You want? That's the doctor's yeah. degree of jam. Oh, you want to okay. Jam. Let's see how jam makes the tusuk, thread to sew to sew inside the needle. Then then you know. Right there. I can't see you. Uh, you're not on your master's degree. <laughs> you're still on beginners. <laughs> you can't? Really? Uh, I, 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 can, I can two soak a different <laughs> hole, but yeah, not this. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> you're two soaking a different hole. Eh? <laughs> okay, look. There you go. Oh, see? There. Oh, oh see? So quick. Elastic. Okay. okay. I was confused last time because people uh, call this one here elastic, but in the Philippines we it's call it garter. Garter. <laughs> okay. So. so it's called elastic, not I don't know. Yeah, so they, they don't know garter, garter. here. They but call it elastic. At first you, you call it garter. <laughs> yeah. Then <accident. laughs> what, what is your reaction? What's, that? What's garter? <laughs> <laughs> so for jam space, uh, hmm. six will do, I think. Yeah. Let's go. Six inches. Then, on this, you have to mark like half inch both sides, so well, you have why? balance. So to balance the, yeah. oh, okay. the garter. The, the elastic. <laughs> the elastic. Perfect fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we sew the elastic or our garter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the purpose of the line, uh, you know, the mark. Well, it will yeah, so you balance. have balance. Yeah. You just made the procedure or you, you got it from some of the procedures are from the internet and I you, you I just um, improvise. Yes. <laughs> and modify it. Modify which, it. Which is good. Yeah. So two Okay. And then yeah. the other side. Last one. So that is the last part of you know, yes. face mask making, putting the elastic? No, right? mister. We still have the quality control and ah, that okay. will be with Mr. Gopto. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's the one who cutting the... What? The, the excess, excess of, yeah, thread. Uh, thread. And then he's ironing it. To uh, make ironing it again? Yes. Ah, okay. Wow. To make it uh, presentable. You're right. For customers. Mm -hmm. For customer satisfaction. Yeah. You're right. Then after this, just cut everything, the mm -hmm. excess one, and then iron. Let's and that's gonna, be, that's gonna be the last, or? Yeah, that's the last. I don't know if it fits with jam. I think so. Yeah. I'll be ready with your ten dollars, please. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so later, guys, we're going to you know uh, ask them how much they sell this one. And <laughs> I think you know it's worth the price. It's worth the price. With the effort. Okay, with effort. With the creativity. With the last one. So this is the last. Uh, yes. And the quality of the materials, it's worth ten dollars. Yeah, we have to. Like that. So those are the finished products. Finished products. And let's see. Right, let's see. So I'm gonna try it right now. Come over okay. here so that. So. 
Other Grace gave this one to me. And then let's try. Okay. Da -da -da. <laughs> that is Japanese product. Wow. Oh my it's, god. Yes. Sure? It looks so good, huh? <laughs> nice. So, Jammers, they actually have their finished product right yeah, here. Yeah, they have a lot of um, different designs. designs. Yeah. So, yeah. someone likes Hello, Hello Kitty. Kitty. We have Paw Patrols for kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do make uh, I do make also masks for kids like mm -hmm. one year old up like that. Mm -hmm. And then we got, I see Mickey Mouse right here. Yeah. Alright, so where can they buy this one, Ate? They just have to PM is the key. <laughs> <laughs> but PM in the Philippines, the no. <laughs> no not in the Here Philippines. it's it's fine. Yeah. It's America, so. So usually we put this on marketplace and then people like uh, mm -hmm. order. Yeah, order. Like um, then, how do you say the one service the sales? Yeah, service the sales. <laughs> so we meet the buyer at uh, some place and yeah. Shira Vista and then mm -hmm. yeah. We oh, just by the way, we're making masks, but we're not wearing masks right now because, like, we were all negative. <laughs> yeah. We tested negative, so yeah. we don't have the virus, so we're fine. Anyway, so thank you, Ate. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And then later, guys, we're, we're going to service that. I'll go with them, with uh, her husband, Kuya Dave, so that we'll meet the buyer and then let's see how how's the satisfaction of, mm. of the buyer. So thank you. Okay. Good. All right. So I hope you <laughs> learned you so something, much. Jammers. Thank right. you. Thank Yay! You. Great job! Hey Jammer, so we're here in service and then we're you know, selling, you know, we're delivering the face mask that Good Dave and Ate Grace made. So our meeting place is here in Target. So that's what they're getting right now, the face masks. And that's it. Nice color, huh? That looks good. Uh, Miss, I just want to ask, is it really important to use face masks this time of pandemic? Yes, it is. Extremely important. Mm -hmm. May I know what's the reason for that? Do you see how old we are? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and we both have underlying medical conditions. Oh, that's why, yeah. I, which I truly understand. But the thing is, it's not supposed to protect us. Uh huh. It's protect, protect, yeah, you. correct. Yeah, yeah. And these people running around with us. You're right. Are infecting us. Uh huh. You're right. Well, so thank you. Thank okay. you for that thank answer. You. Thank you. We appreciate thank that. You, thank, you. thank you. Um, Victor, I just want to ask, like, what's your, I know, what do you think about wearing masks in public places? Do you think it will help in the prevention of, you know, the spreading of the coronavirus? Well, I don't really think it will necessarily help, but if people feel safer wearing them in public and they, and they think personally it will help, uh -huh. I'm all for them, like more power to them, but personally, I don't think it's necessary. Mm -hmm. But if that person wants me to wear one, I'll wear one. All right, uh, because especially in Douglas right now, it's required to be wearing in public places, right? Yeah. All right, and thanks for answering. And because of that, you have to wear this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Miss Docto. You want to try it? Yeah. Okay, sure. try it. It's numbers. She's a math teacher, so oh, it fits you. So you should be wearing that one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for answering that. Thank you. So, Jammers, that's the end of our vlog. And I hope you have learned something when you make a face mask. So thanks to again to the Docto family. Thanks to Other Grace for helping us out understand how to make a do-it-yourself face mask. And uh, you have heard the people of Douglas have spoken. I strongly believe that we have to use face covering and face mask when we go to you know public places. Now, the City Council of Douglas made a proclamation stating that you know, you have to wear face mask uh, in public places. I think it was effective on June 23rd. So jammers, all that I wanted to say, you know, stay safe both here in the US and any parts of the globe, especially on my home country in the Philippines. On this unprecedented times when everything is uncertain, we got each other. We can, we can fight this virus by you know, following the rules by observing social distancing, by, you know, f you know, as simple as wearing face mask, we can help not to spread the virus when we do that one. And, you know, for ourselves, we can do something when we observe healthy diet, um, you have to, you know, boost your immune system. So with that, I just want to end my vlog and I just, I just wish everyone to stay safe and God bless us all.